Hi, welcome to the preview video for the Panasonic Lumix DMC-FT3 or otherwise it's simply known as the Lumix FT3. Uh, I realize that the FT3 now is uh, well superseded by the FT4 or soon will be. However, the body uh, of the camera is uh, pretty much the same. So I thought I'd just go around the camera. For those of you looking to get the FT4, this is what it looks like. Um, but those of you with the FT3, um, the detail might interest you a little bit more. So just going around the front, we have flash, we have uh, the lens, which is a, an integral component of the camera. That's uh, a 28 uh, mil wide and a 4.6 optical zoom. So you do get a bit of zoom there, and it's uh, folded optics as well, which is good. Coming around to the side, exclude, uh, excuse the blurriness there. Um, you just we just open up the door, and you have the battery, and you also have uh, the SD card. And I have a um, how big is that? Thirty-two gig in there. So let's pop that back in. Away. So it is very important to make sure you lock it, uh, particularly if you're going to take this underwater. And speaking of underwater, this is rated to uh, 12 meters of underwater um, depth. So that is um, not bad for a compact, rugged camera. Uh, on the bottom, nothing too exciting, just the tripod mount. On the other side, nothing, just a... Um, plasticky grip kind of thing and on the back uh, it's probably the most interesting uh, so I'll just turn well before I get to that we'll just go through the top GPS so it's the GPS um, antenna there on off button uh, photo button and video recording button and we also have a microphone uh, so it's a mono microphone um, compared to a stereo mic on the uh, GX1 on which I'm shooting this video at the moment. So if I just turn this on There we go. Just a little pop-up warning there. So just going through the various features here, so you've got your zoom you have uh, the ability to um, that's me obviously there. Uh, go through and look at all the photos and videos you've taken. Uh, you can also go through uh, the various modes. Let's see if I can... There we go. So, so you have intelligent auto, normal picture, sports, snow, beach and snorkeling, so if you're going to go underwater that's probably the best mode or underwater depending if you're going shallow or deep uh, scene mode and 3D photo mode, so you, this can take 3D photos and it works by shooting and then you move the camera left to right or right to left to try and get two different perspectives of a particular uh, scene and then the camera will pick uh, what it can out of them. But in scene mode you have a whole stack and I apologize for the focusing here, it's being a bit temperamental. But you do have a whole stack of nodes, uh, not nodes, modes. Don't know why I'm so tongue-tied today. Uh, now, I won't go through them all, um, but one of the ones that I do tend to use is um, where is it? Food? So uh, what this does is it does tailor no, it's not going to work uh, it, this is like a semi-manual setting but you know, it, it tries to use the best that it can in terms of um, preset settings um, so it takes some of the guesswork out of trying to take a good photo for you now, the FT3 um, 
it does have something called panorama assist and yeah that's that one up there so what it, what this mode does is it lets you uh, as the name would suggest try and take panorama, uh, panoramic photos so by taking multiple photos um, and it will show you the edge of the previous photo so you can try and line up the next photo uh, you do need to manually stitch them together but with the FT4 that's now a completely automatic function so you can take photos from left to right or from bottom to top or top to bottom or right to left and it will stitch that together for you automatically and I think that's a pretty fantastic mode. Uh, one other feature that's missing from the FT3 but is in the FT4 is the uh, time lapse option. So for those of you with higher end cameras uh, you can set your camera to take a shot every so often uh, but with the FT4 you can say at this time start taking photos then start taking photos every x seconds, x minutes um, and uh, also a time to stop taking photos as well I believe um, I may need to get an FT4 just to check that out but for those of you who uh, like doing those time lapse videos that could be quite a compelling option anyway um, that's pretty much it from the scene mode uh, on the bottom here you have the ability to change the display and you also have a um, menu button here that also serves as a back button so you can quickly get at all the various settings here so you've got resolution um, if the flash is on, auto or off uh, you can turn the GPS on or off, burst mode um, face detection so this this camera will uh, recognize faces and it will also um, tag them for you at least within the camera I've not um, played too much with um, having uh, facial recognition outside of the camera so, um, so I can't talk too much about that uh, but just cancelling that and uh, the little dial pad here uh, also lets you get uh, at more settings and menus and other bits and pieces you can play with so if you want to play around with um, some of these to get what you well to set the camera up exactly how you want that's probably the best way to do it but it's also um, when you're ready to shoot a photo you can also use this to get directly into some of the uh, manual settings so if you want to change the exposure so you can see there that you know, changes it there flash so you can go auto auto red eye forced flash or off just put that back there um, self timer off two seconds ten seconds and uh, the bottom one's a macro mode but you need to be in um, uh, one of the other scene modes to get that to work and you also have a little speaker here as well so that's not so that's a, a look around the camera itself uh, the camera also includes a compass altimeter and a barometer uh, it's got a Leica DC lens in there so that's a pretty good quality um, I've already mentioned that it goes down to 12 meters underwater uh, shock proof to 2 meters and it's freeze proof down to minus 10 degrees um, I've not tried putting this in uh, the freezer um, if I'm crazy enough I might do that but um, yeah we'll see how it goes uh, this camera will also take um, SD cards up to 64 gig so it'll take SD, SDHC so high capacity or SDXC extended capacity cards so I've got 32 which is the highest SDHC card you can get in there so that's about it in terms of the preview um, I may do a uh, review video so stay tuned uh, see if that pops up on the channel if you found this uh, video handy make sure you give it a thumbs up any questions about the camera 
functionality, uh, what you might find in the FT3 or the FT4. I'll do my best to try and answer those as well. Just leave a comment down below. But as always, thanks for watching.